When the living water gets inside of you, you get radical. When the power of God falls upon you, your mentality changes. God is looking for his spirit to get inside of us in such a special way that we become radical in our mindset. That we do not allow our minds to believe that there is anything that can stop us from doing the will and the work of the Lord. Because the enemy is wicked, but God is more powerful than the enemy. Amen. Can somebody say amen? amen? And today I just wanted to share with you a short word to encourage you to understand that God is a God who's looking for radical worshipers. Amen. Looking for people that will worship him in spirit, which means that your heart is for him, which means that you love him, that which means that you understand who he is and you want to connect with him. And in truth, which means that you follow the word of God. It means that you uh, worship God in the way that he wants you to worship him, that you give him your best because God is looking for people that will worship him in spirit and in truth. Amen? Amen. The devil desires to break into your house. He desires to break apart all of our marriages. He desires to break on our children. He desires to break our lives into pieces. But Jesus Christ said, I am come that you might have life and that you might have life more abundantly. So many people are worried about the devil assaulting them and bothering them and the devil is on them. But if you can never understand who you are, if you can understand that God is on your side and there's nothing that can stop you, there's nothing that can stop you. There is no rumor, there's no criticism, there's no gun, there's no tank, there's no tsunami, there's no nuclear warfare, there's no principalities, powers, rulers in darkness, there's no um, wickedness, there's no demon, there's no evil that can stop you because the Bible declares that we belong to Jesus Christ. And if we belong to Jesus Christ, that means that he owns us. And anything that God owns is connected to him. And anything that's connected to him, if you dare touch it, you're bothering God. So the Bible says, if God is for us, then who can be against us? Now you need to take that into your spirit and say, if God is for me, if God is for me, if God is for me, then who can be against me? If God is for you, if God is for you, if God is for you, then who can be against you? So that means that if the power of God is working on your behalf, it's time to give God a radical praise because there's nothing that can stop you. If there's nothing that can stop you, then we should give God a radical praise and let the devil know that we know that we belong to God and there's nothing that can stop us. Somebody in the house of God shout hallelujah. Somebody in the house of God shout hallelujah. Oh my goodness, I think I'm ready to set the devil back and to put him into a position of fear because when the people of God know who they are and they know the God that they belong to, there's nothing that can stop them. I'm excited this morning because I know that God is on my side. Is there anyone that's excited because they know that God is on their side? Somebody just shout, God is on my side. Someone shout, God is on my side. Someone shout, God is on my side. We thank the Lord for his goodness. Is that all of us who are in here, we are in a fight for our life. We need to make decisions that will allow our life to move forward or will allow our lives to move into a position of negativity and into darkness and gnashing of teeth. So because we're in a warfare, one aspect of worship actually deals with warfare. Because what the Bible says, I believe it's in 2 Chronicles, it says that, um, we're dealing with Jehoshaphat, it says that the battle is not yours. The battle is the Lord's. But the one thing that you're responsible for is to worship the Lord. Because in the midst of worshiping the Lord, then the, then the Lord begins to battle on your behalf. No worship, you got to battle for yourself. So what God is looking for is people that would get into radical worship. And get into radical prayer. And to get into radical faith. And believe that God can do a radical thing in their behalf. I don't just want the Lord to bless.